Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Zeus here bringing you a video and this is for the Halo uh, screen protectors for the Galaxy Note 4. Um, this is basically a pretty cool little package. You pick it up for about $8.99 on Amazon. Links will be below in the description. Inside you get a microfiber cleaning cloth with the Halo branding, which is pretty cool. You also get, I guess it would help if I opened it up right. You get three screen protectors, and they are, um, they do have covers on both the front and the back. So as you can see, there's a step one, and then step two, step one, remove it, put it on, squeegee it out, step two, remove the other coating. As you can see, I only have two because I already have one on my phone, and I'm basically going to put it through a little scratch test. I've already done this two times before, so this is take number three that you guys get to watch. So lucky you. Um, right here we have a thank you card with some company information. And then a dust, a dusting film to remove dust from your screen. So you can, whatever. Didn't use that though. I do have tape, and this is clear tape. So normally I just... Put it on there and take all the dust off and then put the screen protector on itself so, so let's go ahead and take some keys to this um let me go ahead and wipe it down for you first reason i'm using a, a piece of white paper on the back so that the reflection of the light that i'm using doesn't interfere so let's go ahead and use that first off let me let me go ahead and show you how uh, the screen protector looks on the phone as you can see it has perfect cutouts for the uh, camera and for the um, sensors as well as the speaker itself and there's no haloing around the edges which is really cool so it doesn't go 100% clear from left to right or 100% clear from uh, top to bottom and that's because you know the curved edges for those of you that may not know um, The note 4 screen has curved edges around the edges. So with tempered uh, screen protectors Those tend to not work. I've, I've tried two different ones and um, Basically had an air bubble around the side. So no air bubbles on this because it is film which is pretty cool um, Clarity is there. Let me go ahead and show you a picture before I do the scratch test again now mind you just like I said before this is the third time recording this video <coughs> so I have scratched it twice before and there is still clarity on here so let me go ahead and show you a 4k image here let me turn this off so hopefully you can see it a little bit better so as you can see it is still clear Mind you, I am recording this with a um, iPhone 6 Plus, so anyways, clarity is still there. I got to get the angles on this perfect. Or maybe if I lower the... Okay, well, you can see it's responsive. Let me go ahead and bust out the S Pen. And I'll show you that the S Pen is still working. It's responsive. So no issues there. Go ahead and turn this thing off. And let's begin the scratch test. We got some keys here. Let's take this one. Same one. Okay, so you can see some scratches on it and stuff. I'll go ahead and wipe this down. So most of that is just scratching through the fingerprints. Now this isn't some magic cloth, it's just the microfiber cleaning cloth that it came with. <clears throat> so as you can see, there are some 
really minor hairline scratches on there, but no biggie. Everything is good. Um, as you can see, there are some like little minor hairline scratches, but nothing, nothing crazy. If I put my finger on it, I can't even feel them, which means that, that my screen is protected because normally if you scratch your screen, you can feel the indentation in there. So that, that's good. Um, I didn't show you the cutouts for the home button, but if you can see them here, it kind of curves around and in there. And you know what, I might, since I'm here, might as well do another installation, just remove this one. Even though those little scratches aren't really gonna do much to my phone. And as you can see, there's no scratches on my phone. And I just took off the screen protector. So let me go ahead and put some tape on here. And since it did come with three uh, screen protectors, I will do an install of a second one. And that's the one I'm actually going to leave on my phone because I need to have some kind of protection, right? If I can get my tape here to cooperate. My hands are starting to sweat a little bit, which kind of sucks because I just washed them to prevent me from getting any fingerprints. Let's go ahead. This is what I like to do. I put some tape on it. And then remove it. This way it gets all the little dust particles and whatnot. I recommend that you do this if you don't have tape this big or if you have any like scotch tape or whatever that'll work fine. Okay so that's done. Let me get rid of some of my fingerprints. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this live right in front of the camera. So step one, remove me. Go ahead and do that. Try to hold it by this little tab here. So that's step one. And this is the part that actually goes down onto the phone itself. Kind of hard to see from this angle if I'm getting around the home button, but I think I got it. As you can see, it is starting to take over. All I gotta do is squeegee this stuff out. It doesn't come with a squeegee, which kind of sucks, but it's all good. Turn this off real quick so I don't have to worry about that stuff. Starting to get the feeling I should have left the other one on even though I had little scratches on it because this one has more air bubbles. But let's go ahead and remove this part. Step two, remove me. Maybe there'll be less air bubbles. Okay, that kind of created more. So let me go ahead and squeegee these ones out. Rub them out. I don't have a credit card with me, otherwise I would do it. I do have one in my wallet, however. Let's see if maybe this will work somehow. I mean, it has a flat surface, so why not? Okay, so most of them are out. I mean, I'm gonna have to do this afterwards. But for the sake of this video, they're out. Same exact screen protector. Clarity's there, no haloing around the edges, which I like. If you found this video helpful or useful in any way, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. As always, hit subscribe. Check the links down below. I got the unboxing of this, as well as the uh, Chromo ink. 36 LED light, which I'm using to record this video. Um, check those out. And if, as always, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them below in the comment section. And until next time, thanks for watching and peace.